Hi, hello everyone. My name is Tuma Daniel. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about the market structure. And what is the market structure? It's simply the support and resistance zone. It's simply the support and resistance zone. Now, I'm using a phone or a trading view for phone. Trading view for phone to identify my market structure now because i trade with phone most of the times uh i kind of do everything i do on my laptop via phone as well now why is it important for you to re recognize where the market structure now in forex there are two rules in in the game what you want to do is you you sell at the roof then you buy at the floor you sell at the roof and you buy at the floor you sell at the roof and you buy at the floor let me just put that up uh you buy at the roof so let's have that buy at the roof at the floor sorry buy at the floor sell at this roof now let me just change that so lines change to so we good as you can see this is forex the green bar there shows what we do now because market structure is all about is support and resistance we want to know where the market is actually going at every given time for us to be able to decide if we are to buy or to sell now i'm going to remove some of these tools here and we're going to start afresh and do everything all over again we're going to do everything all over again so so that's we're good i'm just going to leave just that now now first of all in identifying market structure which what you should be looking out for is place where you see price reacting to zones where you see price constantly react to now i'm gonna let me I, let me just show you a bit of what i'm talking about now i use market structure as uh, one of my confirmation tools when i'm trading because i want to do a breakup break and retest pattern strategy i use a break and retest strategy so i always draw this market structure lines talking about the support and resistance lines now this is it you can look at it from the big picture you can look at it from a small picture it's all same now this is it by the way the currency pair we're using is um the usdjpy the usdjpy okay as you can see the market is closed right now because it's actually a weekend everyone is locked up in the house experiencing okay 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 now i've explained what i mean by market structure It's basically placing the support and resistance lines we don't want to call them um, the support and resistance zone we want to say market structure so we can be able to know how the market is actually structured now 
I place my structural lines where I see weeks, 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 weeks. You don't want to put your lines on the body of the candle. You don't want to put your lines on the body of the candle. Actually, your where you place your lines should be the wicks because the wick actually indicates the highest point or the lowest point where the market has actually gotten to. Now, as you can see, price tends to respect its structure. The zones, the market structure zones, price respects those areas. As you can see, lots of things happening around this structure and the market is currently there right now so we should be careful about these zones let's just do this single it out so let me just put in a yellow so so um i've been using this trading view app for a while now so it tends to be very very convenient for me so i'll be i really love using it on my phone as well okay so now you see big price action tells you that this is a structure where this is a very strong structure where a lot of things happen a lot of things a lot of things we see we test we test we test we test we test price reacting towards price reacting in these restructure zones so you want to draw out your structure lines while trading because these are regions where market sorry market tends to reverse because you want to buy at the roof or you sell you want to buy at the ceiling that's the the you want to buy at the floor sorry and you want to sell at the floor you want to sell at the roof sorry now what does this mean you want to sell at the highest price then you buy at the lowest price so market structure helps you make your decision better you will be able to identify the highs and the lows so let me just see if i can point out on the structure for you now if you find this video encouraging and you you learning you gain value from this video don't hesitate to put in your comments in the comment section let, let me know how you feel concerning the video if i should explain more in details i will go further you see it you see what's happening here this so this so a lot of stuffs yeah that's why it's important to draw your structural lines you see what's happening breaks market breaks come back to retest then market did this movement oh sorry so um i don't mean to do that sorry so okay i trend line the market did something like this came down came into the structure zone then finally it went up and it's still going up so so it really helps it really helps you to make a better decision it helps you to make a better decision now that's all for now that's all for market structure is basically the support and the resistance zones
thank you for watching feel free to drop in your comments your questions on the comment section and we will trash that out in the next session also like and share the video with your friends and your colleagues i remain suma daniel and you can also follow me on instagram instagram uh okay let's do that all right ig at trusted underscore official that's my ig handle trusted underscore official that's it that's it that's all for now thank you for watching have a beautiful day ahead